Greetings, my friends. I'll try to make this as quick as possible. It's going to take me a while because i got some stuff to talk about, but it's important stuff. And um, Super Bowl, I used to love to watch it. I haven't watched it for over 10 years now because of the sex trafficking link. And I just can't bring myself to watch it because I care too much about the lives uh, being affected by this, the young girls and boys and women, even men. It's really, really sad. And uh, what's really sad, you see right here, uh, Super Bowl 56, SoFi Stadium, the LAPD police chief, Moore, is, uh, say, is talking here about how editors, I guess, at the LA Times or some newspaper or wherever it was, <clears throat> are coming out and saying that um, the, it's a myth about the sex trafficking link. And he's saying it's a bunch of baloney. And see, men used to be protectors of women when I was growing up. It was one of our jobs, and uh, I still have that in my genes. It's never going to change. I don't like seeing women and young children and children uh, being abused. Men used to protect them. Uh, it, it appears not so much anymore. And uh, it's really sad, but let's see what Chief Moore has to say here. He's saying to the editor, Your editorial states that the human sex trafficking is not increased by big sporting events, and the link with the Super Bowl is a myth and a lie. Uh, he's saying space won't allow him to comment on all of that. But he's talking about how just last weekend, 14 individuals were arrested for sex trafficking in a single hotel associated with Super Bowl activities. And a number of those arrested traveling from other regions of the country. Isolated? Not at all. He's saying just as the region has been flooded with counterfeit merchandise and illicit opportunists related to Super Bowl, sex trafficking similarly follows, <coughs> which I've known all along and those who are watching uh, these things know as well. And for him, he's saying that Times readers deserve more than your editorial board. That's why it's saying Times, so uh, it's uh, it, uh, whatever Times paper it is. And that of increased trafficking, saying that that is comparing it to um, to cops promoting it because it's, it's good for business, is like saying uh, the mega events that lies about coronavirus, stolen elections, and QAnon is offensive. So it, it's, it's just showing you how Lame, this and they've seen firsthand of how lives are lost. People will sell their bodies and invite the editors, any of the editors, <coughs> excuse me, to come with the police officers and see what happens. And again, it's talking about sex trafficking is a crime. It's about vulnerable, poor young girls and boys caught in a cycle of violence, often with nowhere to turn for help. It often involves profit seeking organized crime. They're giving out bars of soap with the hot for the uh, get their hands on it. Then we go to impact on mental years ago, by the way, that's probably sex trap. You have mental D, they're lost, they're confused, very, very dizziness, memory in this one woman and tortured. <coughs> it goes, girls. She said, that have two more. This is in the title that this country even been remote breaks my heart as well. The rap king is on all, all this, this Lord and Savior, pray that.